Good afternoon folks. So what we're going to do today is we are going to learn a principle of how to find the centre of a circle when we're given two points on the circumference of the circle or an arc, okay, and we are given the radius as well. So I'll bring up a question here that will explain this principle. So it says here, the following figure shows a pedestrian crossing lamp. Draw the lamp using the dimensions given. Okay, so we can see here down at the bottom we have kind of this rectangular structure here that is 20 wide by 80 high. Okay, and obviously the center line is running up through it. And we also have uh, this kind of tapered section here, which is a height of 21. This section here is 40 millimeters wide, and then the top section is 50 millimeters wide. Okay, so from the center then out to here, it's going to be 20 and 20, and then from here, it's going to be out 25 and 25. Bit of maths, okay? So we'll build it up to that before we get onto this section up here, which will explain the principle. So I have the question slightly set up at the start with, where I've done my baseline of 20, I've measured a height up to 80 millimetres here, and I've measured another height up to 21. So just get those put in. I'll speed up the video. So there we have, the structure has been built, okay, for the uh, for the pedestrian crossing lamp. Now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to put in this circular, uh, I suppose, ball on top of it, okay, for the light. Now first of all, in this principle we have to locate the centre, okay. We could have a fairly good guess that it's going to be in here, and obviously we can see the bottom of our circle, it's like it's kind of been cut off there, okay. But what we can identify is, we know the radius is 35, and we can also identify two definitive points that are on the circumference of the circle. Okay, we don't know the height up to here. Okay, so that's not a point up there. Even though the centre line goes up there, we don't know where the exact height of that is because it doesn't tell us out here. But we can locate a point right here. We do have this one. That is a point that is obviously on the kind of structure, but it's on the circumference of the circle. So I'm going to call that point A. And we have another one here at the opposite side. This one is called point B. Okay, so we have two points that are on the circumference of the circle and we have a radius. If you have that much information, you should be able to locate the centre. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. So I'll identify those points in my drawing. I've got point A and I've also got point B. And I can identify then in here the centre. Okay, simple construction. So what I'm going to do is the radius was 35. I'm going to get that distance on my compass setting my compass to 35 millimeters which is right there 35 millimeters now from A I know the center of a circle has to be 35 millimeters from A if it's to go through it so from A I'm going to swing an arc that is 35 millimeters away from A somewhere along that arc right there is going to be the center of my circle likewise that circle also has to go through point B so likewise I'm going to swing an arc from B that is 35 millimeters away. Okay, that arc from here to here is 35 millimeters away from B, as is this arc A. It is 35 millimeters. Trying to put that in neatly as possible. And where the two arcs intersect one another is a common point that is both 35 millimeters away from A and 35 millimeters away from B. So now with that information in hand, we have found our center. We can now draw in our circle radius 35. Just fix up my compass here. So from here, with that as my center, marked A, it should be a distance of 35. Now I'll just check before I draw it in that it's the same to B. Yep, so I'll draw it in that there now. Try to do it without slipping. And there we have it. Okay. There we have obviously not a full circle, but a good portion of a circle where we found a point 35 millimeters away from both A and B and it was equidistance, therefore we found the centre. Hope you found it helpful guys, that's the question complete.